is one of the best boxers in the UFC, even though he fancies himself a well-rounded mixed martial artist, but always changing up the location of his strikes, the tempo. This guy is a well-versed, world-class striker. Yeah, he's a world-class striker, and we always have a lot of fun on our shows about the best boxer in the UFC. Start talking Holloway, Masvidal, Mahovic. This guy is along the lines of that in regards to how he implements that skill inside the octagon. He goes out there, fights behind a beautiful jab, and he sets everything up perfectly with the hands. And that is why we see him securing so many knockouts inside the UFC's octagon. Yeah, had a lot of knockouts as an amateur, not just in MMA, but in boxing as well. And just those tiny two-ounce gloves here tonight. We'll see if he can add to that total. Play against Kaikata France and throughout his UFC tenure thus far. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Ready for this one. Ready. Do it. All right, so here's Brandon Moreno as he gets ready to get going here early in this round. The jab has been a big key for him as he has evolved into one of the best flyweights in the world. You know he can grapple really instinctive when it comes to his offensive submission game and believes there might be an opening for a choke here tonight. We shall see. Nice punch, man. Roundhouse kick lands. Come on, bro. Keep those hands up, boy. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Roy Ball strike attempt there as well. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Straight right is there. Another straight lands flush by Moreno. He's got some hands, man. Nice. Establishing the jab here. Three minutes to go. Now going upstairs with the left hook. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Now switching his stance. Punch 
bunches and bunches as he lands another combination there, really doing a nice job stringing his shots. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. This is where he wants to be. Oh, now look at a posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Brandon Moray. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Oh, my goodness. Moreno gets tattooed by that straight punch. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. by him there. Final seconds here. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown. He is certainly trying to wrestle offensively tonight, but that attempt did not work. We knew we'd see a commitment to trying to secure those takedowns. We did not anticipate him having to take this many attempts. How long until he gets discouraged? All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool, and I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still got to do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's horrible. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, he gets tagged again. Nice combination. Just misses with that one. Brandon Moreno. Oh my goodness, what a kick! Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Unable to connect with a right hook. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Oh. Straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, he rocked him, but didn't finish it. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's passed with trying to find that shot again. Royval's got a lot of weapons on both sides as he switches his stance here. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, that's big. Oh, big left hand. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish it because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Win the scramble! Win the scramble! Moreno's going for the sub here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked down. Ooh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. 
All right, round three coming up next. All right, good news is the round is over. Bad news, Roy Ball's got a nasty cut above the eye. Cutman has his work to do here in advance of round five. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. He appeared to open up a significant cut on his opponent's forehead with one of those strikes. A lot of blood comes from the cut on the forehead. He did exactly what he needed to do to land a strike that would open up a cut on the forehead. Now that he's got the target, he has got to continue to go there. He's got to continue to land in that spot to try to get his opponent out of here. Of course, his corner imploring him to be more sound defensively. The cut man appeared to do a pretty good job. Let's see how this next round plays out. Follows it up with a nice combination. goes on. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Moreno's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Nice job defensively. He blocked that punch. Goes to the body there. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Under two minutes to go. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands. So the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. And it was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. 
Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really start to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, nice. Just over three minutes to go. Misses with the left hook. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job. Shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he's standing. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Roy Ball's taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? Might as well continue to target that area and see if you might get a referee or even a doctor to intervene here. All right, so he's landed a few semi uppercuts already, DC. You gotta think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's gonna go and try to find another one of them. But expect him to really set down and try to make one really count and try to hit this fight. Just out of range with the big right hand. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. So the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. Well, his is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. All right, next round is underway. These guys still look pretty fresh to me. We know cardio is king in MMA, and these guys have it for days. They have cardio for days. You saw the work rate of the previous round. Let's see if it continues as we start the next round. That was great head movement. Oh, man. Oh, looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. Just out of range with the straight left hook. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys going out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Cleanup guy's gonna be busy. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish, or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Well, missed on that one. So how about that? What a 
moment for this fighter as he pounds him out for the TKO win. Relentless strikes landed across the board and a huge, huge win in his career. John, that was so impressive. What an amazing display of finishing ability by this young fighter. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, one second of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Brandon the Assassin Baby Moreno! As good a finish as we have seen of late from Brandon Moreno, your winner tonight by TKO. What he does is finish fights. It does not matter how. He finds ways to end his opponent's night, and tonight he did just that. Another massive victory for the Assassin Baby. Uh -huh. Can we